So look what's just arrived, guys. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie's just arrived, safe and sound. Look how beautiful she is. What lovely markings. She's having a nosy because Jess is in there. <laughs> but yeah, she's arrived about 10 minutes ago. So this is um, her that we've been waiting for. And we've actually just measured her as well. And uh, she's measured just over 15.2. So just over 15.2 on the stick, guys. As you can see, she's nice and set. Oh, she's got a hay net there. Just having a little look round. She came on the yard and whinnied, didn't she, Jess? Yeah, she wanted to say hello to everyone. She came and said hello to everyone. And then I've just come to the stable door and whinnied. Of course, it doesn't happen on camera, <laughs> but she did. So, um, seeing as she's so settled, I'm going to take her out just for half an hour. She says no. Yes, we are. Just for half an hour on her own. I'm going to take her out for a hack in the pouring rain. So, um, in for a penny, in for a pound. And uh, keep watching, and it will be um, the video will follow. So, I've interrupted Jess from her morning yards to tack up. I thought it'd be nice to um, get as much as I can on the video. So um, it's always nice for you guys to see what we see. She's had her feathers clipped off. So she does actually grow feathers, but um, she has been kept nice and clipped. So she has had her feathers clipped off, but she would need her body clip. But actually she's a really smart um, stamp. We possibly may clip her out and hog her. Oh, all of you are gonna go mad now. Um, if not, she just needs her mane training over, as you can see. She's got a bit of the wild, wild look going on. <laughs> um, but beautifully marked, and I think you can see what a nice temperament she's got. She's 10 years old. And um, we've been waiting to get her here all week, actually, guys. She has passed her um, pre-purchase vet check this week. She passed that on, oh, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday it was. She passed that on Wednesday. Oh, she's a proper stamp of a cob. Oh, look how well behaved she is. <laughs> you know, you'll see what we see, guys. And it is 20 past 12. What time did she get here? About 10 to? Yeah, yeah, it was about 10 to 40. Yeah, so she hasn't been here many minutes, guys. You're not actually seeing the best of her on the... Well, you are behaviour-wise. But I'm looking at her and looking at her through the video, guys. And she just look, she looks a little bit... Um, she's definitely not scruffy because she's extremely well looked after but you know it she's a really really good stamp of a mare and clipped out she looks super smart she's actually got the right face and neck to hog most definitely she's a bit porky in a girth jess yeah i'm gonna mark her down the wall Oh, Mike, because you got them thick pads on. Yeah. Are you breathing out, Bunny? Yeah, she definitely <laughs> is breathing out. I can, I can see yeah. she's breathing out. She's got full concentration on breathing out. <laughs> Go on, Jess. Oh, no, I know we are part of them. Oh, she Miss Bunny, Bunny. I know she is. So we may have to have a girth adjustment, guys. I might have to come up if we can't, if uh, does it doesn't reach. Are we on? Really? Oh, I'll go get one, Jess, if it's going to be too tight on her. 
I think she's just breathing out. Yeah, I mean, she definitely is just breathing out. Well, you can see, guys, she's definitely not um, the sort that w is Maryish with having a girth done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Bonnie. Yeah, typical breathing out. Yeah, she is breathing out. It's on now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, so we'll be going on a hack now and I will... Uh, continue some video out on the hack. So this is me and Bonnie just set out. There's the yard, so you can see how um, early on we are in the hack. And we're out alone, obviously. What an unusual colour mane she's got. She's got the the <laughs> I don't know what you call it the black and white flex in it so um yeah it's like the gray color it's really actually really striking obviously needs a bit of training over guys as i just said she looked lovely hogged but that's my opinion i know some people are anti-hogging so pop will perhaps leave it for personal preference i don't know but this is us just set out on a hack there is a forward just having a little look but as you can see, one-handed, excuse the plastic gloves. Got the Christmas nails on, guys. Gotta keep them um, intact. Bonnie's come from a family where she's been there since 2018. She's done some, um, some work on a riding school as a work and livery. And she's belonged to um, an older teenager who unfortunately with college commitments and then uni around the corner um and with the whole um covid and the lack of use for riding school horses um having the sole responsibility of keeping her keeping a horse not necessarily bonnie but a horse in in work and everything that comes with it with college and uni just become too much so the uh, decision was made to part with her and i'm really pleased that um that i've managed to get her with us and um at, she's used for hacking which actually i think a lot of her hacking work is done alone which is really good isn't it because you know they always hack in company she obviously does hack in company as well but a large proportion of her hacking has done alone now guys if you look to the left there all that is really really quite spooky i can't tell can you just see perhaps doesn't look much on the video i mean she's having a little <coughs> look. oh little winnie but we get so many of them spooking past that rick still to this day doesn't want to go past it. it goes past it every day so there's something about it that make all the horses look so it might just look like a simple walk up the lane but it's things like that we're looking for is testers and their reactions she had a little whinny to the horse that's in the field but it's quite a cute whinny isn't it not a, not a like a stressed out sort of shout out how they can do sometimes which is perfectly acceptable to be fair on the first hack but um cute little winnie she did that when she come on the yard as if she was saying hi everybody super cute so as i was saying used for a uh, hacking both solo and in company and um, <coughs> a schooling uh lessons flat work and jumping She's done cross country. She's been out and done those sort of cross country clinics and those fun ride type things and all of that. <coughs> all right, darling. And you can just see very easy. I'm just hacking out with my hand, just resting on her neck. Little ears pricked forward. She's going nicely forward that I haven't got to keep too much leg on. But as you see, she's just at nice pace. We're just coming past our other yard now, which is lots of the horses there, so she can perhaps hear them. And Dusty's there, the donkey. Let's hope he doesn't make an appearance. <laughs> the horses are not always uh, expecting to ride past and then Dusty's at the gate. <laughs> okay, sweetie. It's okay, Bonnie. You do get the, the um, 
vocal on the first hack well the first hack alone with us never mind the first hack and it's um her first hack alone so you know usually sensibly we bring them out in company first which you know is obviously the thing to do i'm doing everything that i ask everybody not to do but just bearing in mind guys i've done a whole lot of um research into the horses those of you that don't know um well i'm sure you do but those of you that perhaps just watching this on youtube or have just started following us our procedure our purchase procedure now has become a lot stricter um in what we're doing so by the time the horses come to us they've had to pass a lot of um criteria to get here so i have a good idea of what um how the horses will react um so i'm not completely barmy guys and obviously as an experienced rider i would feel confident to bring our new horse out alone and we're not going far anyway i'm only taking her for half an hour three quarters of an hour out so me and bonnie are going to carry on our ride you can see that she's happily come away from the yard um this lane has got um horses in the fields both sides most of the way up so and quite a few little yards so um hence the vocal part but that's not a problem that's more than um understandable i mean how many of you want to come out on a horse that's just a ride? i will have to make my apologies guys if it cuts off like that because i have to video without it on airplane mode so i've got enough storage um to save to the icloud that when a call comes through it does just cut me off so i will make i should have made my apologies about that at the beginning oh there the shetland's coming over to say hello and the big um shire so me and bonnie are going to continue on our ride and uh we'll bring you a little bit more video the further we go so there's a bit more to see thanks guys oh. But I'd just video this past the um, wheelie bins. Riding, one-handed, cantering on a new horse. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on, bunny. Get her in the middle. Hands up. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, how good was she, bless her. To be fair to her, we had that's just our third canter. So obviously, I've been out um, testing her in as much as I can on this hack. Um, it's not that easy to do one-handed. And you have to be fairly sensible. And, you know, on a new horse, in a new surroundings, you've got to be um, semi uh, in control so two hands needed on the reins although to be fair I haven't needed it I'll just show you right on just look she's so easy okay so we'll just keep her it's actually really uphill here and walk so I'll just keep the camera on so you can um just see her for yourselves we've been out now for about half an hour I would say perhaps half an hour since I last uh, came off the video and in that time we've been down the road obviously a bit of off-roading as you can see we've been in walk trot canter we've been past the cows in fact the cows are further up here so we'll probably pass the cows on this video actually past the spooky wheelie bins as well um so you'll be able to see it's so steep this hill <laughs> good girl especially when you've just had a big canter as well and uh, she's not red rum to start off with guys she's just nice she's actually been really enjoyable to ride i can't i can't um just sort of say enough how good it is to just 
arrive here a place she doesn't know and come straight out hacking alone like she has done she's had her ears pricked forward the whole way you'll see wheelie bins are here straight past them she hasn't been in the slightest looky or spooky I mean she has a look like as you can see now she's having just a little loop round as in she's taking in her surroundings but she's I mean I am literally buckle end she's been I'm just she's been very easy so obviously this car is just waiting for me and so are the blooming cows oh and the wheelie bins thank you thanks we got the cows there so you can see that she's not in the slightest bit bothered about the cows. Come on, girl. So we've got the cows, and actually at the top of here, let's have a trip on. We've got the emus that they were right at the fence. I definitely uh, like them to see those before we um, before I'm one-handed. But I think they've gone in for food now. I can see the farmer out there. So she's had the emu test. Whoa. God, it's a horrible day, guys. Sorry if the... Um, I might just try and clear the screen a little bit. Hang, just hang fire. Oh, is that any clearer? You can see the raindrops landing. Cars whizzing past with the spray coming up. All these little things that, you know, if you've got a horse that perhaps is not as relaxed as they might normally be, which in theory she shouldn't be because it's a first ride, that things like that will spook them. And as you can see, it hasn't done anything like that to her. I can say today I can describe her. She's been a very solid, sensible nice and steady but enjoyable not too not sort of um dead to your leg and not going but definitely steady safe and sensible um she's definitely given me the confidence um you know because we might be experienced and people think oh well you don't lose any confidence we're human guys <laughs> and all know what it's like to be riding a horse that makes you feel safer than another. We might be able to be capable of, de or of dealing with a horse that is perhaps not um, as straightforward, but doesn't necessarily mean you want to, <laughs> or you definitely don't feel safe with one hand and videoing. So. Um, I can describe her on this ride today as uh, giving me confidence. Oh. Do you know what? I should have done all my video and outside of this lane because they always neigh on this lane with all the horses about. But I can describe her as giving me confidence, making me feel um, safe to go out on my own. She's been a steady ride, snaffle mouse. In fact, I've not even had to touch my brakes at all um she's been very straightforward had a little bit of leg on it's like now we're sort of just walking along i've got no leg on put a bit of leg on off we're going to trot but look there you go we're still and all's have to go with just a wall there you go okay okay so i have to pull a touch and i thought she'd just wear without me having to touch her brakes but obviously i've got to touch them a little bit but you can you get what I'm saying guys she's not um she's not at all difficult and first hack alone first hack at all and first hack alone she's only been with us as I say half an hour before we set out so um we haven't got the quantity that perhaps other people have on our yard but we've definitely got the quality I much prefer especially this time of year to have less numbers and I am sorry that it takes us a while to get them here but you know as I was saying earlier on in the video these these horses have got to pass a 
strict criteria and not only have they, do they have to pass all of that they then have to go through a pre-purchase vet check that has to be um they have to be certified to be suitable for the job and that is of an all-rounder sort of low level low level riding club low level hunting um all that sort of stuff that you would that you know that these horses are suitable for so she passed hers on tuesday uh, wednesday sorry my mistake wednesday and we're now sunday so she's passed that only recently now there we go bob and his team having their um food hiya you okay yes yeah, thank you no I, I was gonna say but i'll talk to you i've just got a video on of her so i'll stop I'm just videoing her, so I'm, vid I'm just doing a video. Yeah, it's okay. Right, sorry guys. She was very good, waiting there. And then walking on past the other horses. As I say, this uh, lane's got horses pretty much all the way down. <laughs> it's okay, girl, you don't live there. You've got friends. You've got friends at your yard. <laughs> So, as I said, we did measure her before we set out and she measured a smidgen over, over 15 two, and she's a real good sort of, she's like, she's not too cobby, but she's got plenty bone. She's a similar sort of stamp to Marge, who we've recently owned, that similar stamp. Um, so she's a, she is a good stamp and she's a really, really nice colour really nicely marked so this is our first day with our new girl bonnie and as you can see hopefully i've shared as much of it as i can with you and i've had despite the weather a really nice ride and you can just hear a footfall you always know when they've got a nice walk i always think you know listen to the footfalls so enjoy your Sunday guys, me and Bonnie will do.